A familiar voice you hear introducing each of our newscasts is now stepping away from the microphone. Doug Lund has been doing voiceover work for Kelloland TV ever since he retired from his full-time newsroom duties back in 2006. But now Doug, a member of the South Dakota Broadcasting Hall of Fame, is giving his voice a rest to focus on his health. Perry Groton has the story of Doug's second take at retirement in tonight's Eye on Kelloland. Our first stories tonight are about two different craftsmen from two very different backgrounds. Doug Lund's voice has They're resonated with Kelloland viewers for decades. I guess for doing so many different things at KELO, I did do that and my voice was on all of it. So that's really flattering to hear that, uh, that uh, I've been considered the voice of Kelloland and I, I, I I'm very proud of that. There's one thing I've always Doug's voice was his ticket to a long and successful at career at Kelloland, starting in 1975. Most people think that I was just in there for news, but actually I was, I was hired to do the uh, uh, voice work for some of the commercials and things. So news came a little while later. Then Doug became a Kelloland anchorman. For years, his steady delivery informed viewers who came to rely upon Doug to bring them the news every night. I've always uh, made sure that uh, honesty was the best policy as far as not trying to do anything fancy with your voice or your appearance or whatever. I mean, look nice, just sound good and sound, and sound uh, authoritative. So that's what I've, I've tried to do. Doug retired from the newsroom in 2006, but he didn't sign off completely. He voiced newscast intros and public service announcements and other spots for Kelloland from the comfort of home. And I just uh, plugged in my machine back here and it was, it was very easy, not a hard job at all to do. You know, and just go in the room and shut the door and we have to be quiet <laughs> and not run a vacuum or anything. This is where Doug did a lot of his voiceover work right from home, but the equipment was so easy to transport, he did a lot of recordings on the road as kind of a working vacation. I took my recorder along and I recorded, I recorded spots in, uh, in California, Hawaii, Texas, wherever you want, when I, even on a golf trip, I, <clears throat> golf weekend I took it along and recorded some stuff. So uh, that, was, that was the beauty of just having to do a voice and not a photo too, or a picture. But Doug says it's now time to bring that part of his broadcasting career to a close. I still consider myself very lucky, and I, I don't feel bad about retiring at all now because I've had, a, I've had a wonderful go of it. Doug has been diagnosed with neuropathy in his lower legs, so it's tougher for him to get around. I haven't been feeling too hot. I've been kind of laid up a little bit, and so I've got to get a handle on that before anything else. I'd like to see him get better so he can be more mobile, and we're working on that now. Doug's wife, Linda, has been his caregiver. We have uh, help coming in, you know, therapists and stuff with his legs, and they don't dare say anything, but eventually they'll say, I thought that was his voice when they come into the home. So he still gets recognized a lot of places. And as Doug begins his second retirement, that most familiar of voices leaving the airwaves will be accompanied by a deep sense of gratitude that speaks volumes. I've really adjusted to the fact that um, I've had my day, and uh, and it was a it was a wonderful it was a wonderful time, but. Uh, now let someone else have that same kind of a joy. That's 30 for this week. I'm Doug Lon. With I on Kelloland. I'm Perry Groton. Oh, and surprisingly, Doug tells us that he never thought of himself as having a voice for television, but modestly as that viewers seem to have liked it. And Doug hopes that his second retirement can lead to more opportunities to travel with his wife, Linda. We wish you well, my friend. Oh, always. He's always been yeah. so kind. Very, yeah. So